The other issue, obviously, is what this certificate will be used for. And for the time being, uh, the, the emergency committee uh, uh, and WHO are advising against uh, use of uh, this certification uh, for, uh, uh, for accessing uh, uh, services for international travel, uh, simply because uh, uh, the vaccines on one hand uh, are not available everywhere. Uh, and secondly, uh, 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 we still don't know if uh, being vaccinated uh, implies that person will not be uh, infected and therefore present risk to others. When it comes to, uh, to, to, to uh, 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 proof of, of, of vaccination, uh, WHO was, uh, was very clear. Everyone should have a proof of, uh, of vaccination as, as, as it is the case for uh, any, any immunization. People should know and should have a registered uh, uh, evidence of, of, of being vaccinated against any disease. And that's very useful for public health system anywhere to, uh, to have a, 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 a knowledge and have a record of uh, uh, who has been vaccinated against uh, 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 what disease. And it's the same for COVID. WHO is working on trying to, uh, uh, with, with partners to see uh, what kind of uh, 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 smart, uh, uh, vaccination card we can have. So far, uh, we have been uh, using papers. Uh, now it's being looked whether uh, this record of vaccination uh, should be done uh, uh, in electronic format. But uh, yes, so we are for the uh, 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 evidence uh, and of, of, of immunization, certification of immunization.